Hi, I'm Lisa Turner. I'm the flight design mission engineer for the Solar Orbiter mission. It was largely responsible for designing the trajectory that's going to take the Solar Orbiter spacecraft on its two-year journey towards the Sun. This mission is launching on a unique configuration of the Atlas V, the 411, which has a single solid rocket booster. The flexibility of the Atlas V in terms of solid rocket boosters allows us to truly tailor each mission to the unique requirements of our customer. This means that the customer isn't going to pay for extra performance or capability that they don't need or aren't going to use. So how does this work? Basically, the steering actuators of the main engine are able to balance out the asymmetric thrust of the single solid rocket booster. Trajectory design for an interplanetary spacecraft is a little bit different than an Earth-orbiting spacecraft due to both the way the targets are defined and the variability across each day and across the entire launch period, which is typically about 30 days. For each day in a launch period, the launch vehicle needs to hit a specific target. Because the path to that target from the launch pad changes as the Earth both rotates and moves around the Sun, our trajectory needs to vary in order to hit each unique daily target. For analysis purposes, variability is not a great thing because it means we have hundreds and hundreds of trajectories to analyze and bound for a given mission. In order to minimize this variability as much as we can, we try and keep the trajectory as Earth fixed as possible for as long as we can. For Solar Orbiter, we have the trajectory fixed up to the first burn, and then we use variability in the park orbit coast and the second burn to meet the individual targets for each day. When we talk about Earth orbiting spacecraft, we're typically looking at things like perigee, apogee, and inclination. Interplanetary vehicles, however, use a different set of variables. These are typically C3, right ascension, and declination. C3, or characteristic energy, is the amount of energy that the spacecraft needs in order to escape the Earth. Right ascension is the celestial equivalent of longitude and typically drives the time of liftoff. Declination is the celestial equivalent of latitude and usually drives the amount of coast time that we need between the two upper stage burns. I've been working on the Solar Orbiter mission for about three years now, and it's one of the most challenging missions I've ever worked at ULA. I'm really looking forward to seeing it launch and to see what amazing science we get back from it.